Uh, I first heard this story walking along the Golden Road in the Priscelli Mountains because there's some there's some rocks there that symbolise some of the knights that I'll mention. So I'm sure you've all heard of King Arthur. We've all and tales of old around the Round Table and uh, his knights getting lost in the woods. This this story is taken from the Mabinogio, and it includes King Arthur. It has his knights and it also introduces a wild boar called Truch Troith. So a long time ago, there was a young man, a young prince, a handsome prince named Kiluch, who had fallen smitten and fallen in love with a young woman called Olwyn. Although never actually gazing upon her, rumour and her presence kept him wanting. Olwyn was a mysterious young woman and her father was a giant, a giant named Aspivadin Pendaur. In order to win the hand of Olwyn, The father used to set terrible tasks, difficult tasks for people to try to conquer. You could say he was a taskmaster back in in the olden days. So King Arthur and Kiluch were were close companions and and Arthur agreed to help Kiluch with some of these tasks. They were terrible, quite difficult tasks, but with some wit and grit, they accomplished many of them. The final task and the one that's gonna be included in this story is the one that involves Truch Troith, the wild boar. It was to try to capture a comb, some scissors and a razor from between the eyes of the boar. Sounds quite strange now, doesn't it? But if you think about that place between the eyes, it's quite a special place. So this this boar used to be a king of Ireland a wicked king of Ireland. So to start with, King Arthur ventured over confidently to ask permission, ask this king if he could have the comb, the razor and the scissors politely, but the king refused. He didn't want to let them go so easily. Plus, he didn't have the greatest of relationships with Arthur and he was a little bit jealous of his territory. So Arthur went back to Wales and the king followed in his boar form with lots of other young boars and they swam across the sea, arriving at Porthclais near St. David's, and they wreaked havoc in the local villages. They rampaged all the different houses, all the huts, as far as Milford Haven. It's quite scary for the local people, and and for a while there, they they were wondering what they could do about these boars. But Arthur arrived, mighty Arthur arrived with his knights to try to conquer these boars and stop them from what they were doing. They caught up with them, and chased them, and they met in the Briseli Mountains. The battles commenced in the Nevin Valleys and Cumkerwin. However, four of the knights that Arthur was fighting with sadly died, perished at the foot of the Briseli Mountains. And and you can see the little gorge there to this day. This didn't stop Arthur though. They continued to battle and they chased the boars around, slaying, the, slaying some of the young boars. And, and unfortunately, some of the local people got caught up in the battle as well. They chased them around towards Llandesilio, around towards Ceredigion, and even as far as the rest of South Wales territories until finally they caught up with them. They caught up with them near the Severn Estuary, just as you're getting into the England side of the nations now. And Arthur continued to battle. The young boars died in those battles. And finally, it was just one boar left. Turk Troith, the old wicked king. Arthur chased and chased and finally managed to capture the comb and the razor. The scissors were the last thing he found. And as he just reached over, grabbed them from between the eyes, the boar jumped into the water off the coast near Cornwall and it was never seen again. In triumph, Arthur and Kiluch met up again, happily exchanging a little bit of a pampering session to get Kiluch ready for his his meeting with, with Olwyn. So Arthur cut his hair, shaved his beard, combed his hair, got him looking quite nice nice and handsome, ready to ready to capture Olwyn's eye. And they finally met However, there was still the question of Olwyn's giant of a father, Huspithadin Pendaur, Benkaur. Arthur and Kilu got together and they killed the giant. And Olwyn, 
free, met with Kiluch, and they got happily married. And the ending of this story is quite nice because they did fall in love. They were meant to be together. But like many a story, sometimes you have to fight that beast in order to capture the beauty.